if we can carry on the momentum that we gained in the fourth, in the fourth quarter, quarter, how the team played in the fourth quarter is, is, is what I think everybody envisioned for right. the entire season, right. you know, offensive and defensively. And um, hopefully we can continue that what we did on offense because the defense has actually been put, playing pretty good these first couple weeks. They've just been on the field a whole heck of a lot. So if the offense can keep rolling like they did in the fourth quarter, I think we'll get back on track and, and start, you know, racking up the wins. That's the thing. In the first two losses, I don't know if people really grasp. I mean, that Monday night game, say what you want, but the defense yeah. did its job for yeah. the most part, don't it, you think? I thought the Monday night game, I thought the defense kept us in the ball game. Right, absolutely, which is all you need. Which is what, what you want With the defense that offense, to do. Yeah, they got, they got you a turnover. Um, obviously, the turnovers for us in that Monday night game were unexcusable. I mean, right. just dropping the ball on the one yard line for Frank Gore and then some of the interceptions Andrew has thrown. Some of the interceptions Andrew threw yesterday were just bad interceptions, especially that last one thrown off his back foot and mm -hmm. not seeing the defense underneath defense and getting it picked off. But I mean, the defense, the way they've been stopping the run and the guys we've had hurt, you got to look at the guys we've had hurt in the secondary for them not to be on the field. Darius Butler, Greg Toller, yep. two of your top three defensive backs not being available to you. Jaleel goes, Brown goes down for a play or two, or two yesterday, but some of the other guys stepped up. I thought Vonta had a good game. He had a couple penalties, but it overall just just played well. And then, you know, Josh Thomas, the newly acquired Josh Thomas. The Who was just signed yeah. Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, shows up. How good did he look? Right. He looked great. I mean, he forced it. He gave, made the hit on Delaney Walker that popped the ball in the air. Dwight Lowry was able to get it and go and going for the touchdown. But just the tackles, I, I thought he played really well. And Jaleel played good. At times, I thought we were giving him a little bit too much space in the secondary, respecting yeah. them too much. Right. But the game plan didn't change for the Colts. Normally, they like to bring pressure, go man to man. And that's exactly what they did with these guys, just like if we had Toller, uh, Darius mm -hmm. Butler, and Vontae in there. So. Here's the big lead. Let's get right to it, uh, in case you missed it. It's living under a rock or something crazy. 35-33. Uh, it was just your everyday 35-33 win for yeah. the Colts. Uh, Lux, 13th and biggest fourth quarter comeback of his career. Down 13 with seven minutes to play. Uh, two touchdowns for Gore yesterday. Two takeaways for the Colts' D. And, of course, when we say two takeaways, it was all about Dwight Lowry, the former Jag, Jet, and uh, one year with the Atlanta Falcons as well. Uh, ugly wins, got the same as the pretty ones, right? You're right. I mean, it was a great game for for fans, for TV, for for people to watch because right. the ebbs and flows and the ups and downs. But for coaches and players, I mean, it's it's heart attacks. You have heart attacks. You're up 14. You're down, you know, 13, 27, 14. Then you're back up by eight, and then you're. They, they're going for two to they, tie it. It's, they, it's crazy. They scored 27 and answered. <laughs> You're thinking, okay, what's uh, what's on ABC at this point? You know, and if uh, you flipped, up, if, you, if you went away from that game, you missed the. Well, I'm, I'm on Twitter going, hang on, folks, hang on, wait <laughs> yeah, a minute, stay. Like I'm working for the other network or something. But yeah. anyway, uh, you talked about the zone defense in the back for going nickel and dime a lot without Toller and and Butler. Do you think that'll be a trend moving forward at all, or do you think once those guys get healthy, we'll see more of the Man to man, up and up against the wide receivers. Well, I think it was a good mix yesterday. We did play some man to man um, with the, with the guys right. we had in there. Uh, we didn't. I thought we, we saw a lot of zone though. We saw a lot of zone, and, and I just think it's which is smart football, I think. But it really didn't look like the guys were used to playing zone. Right. You I'll know, give you, that. you sit there and you practice man to man because that's what you're going to do when your starters are out there. You don't necessarily going to practice for when they're not out there. So it, it, that's why you always hear when. Players get hurt. Coaches say we're not going to stray away from the, the plan mm -hmm. because if it's like starting over basically. But mm -hmm. you did see them try to use a little bit of zone in the back end. But I think as these guys get more and more comfortable, and if we're going to miss uh, Butler and Toller for a long time, uh, I think these guys are going to have to start playing man to man. It, but I did notice that we started to get a little bit more pressure with not bringing as many guys yesterday as as we normally have to do. Normally, when we just rush four, we have a really hard time getting pressure. But yesterday, uh, we, met, we might have had to add a guy here or there, but we right. got pressure on Marcus Mariota. We couldn't get him to the turf early, but later on, we started to get him to the turf and uh, and, and get some turnovers. I, I thought the Titans could have gone a little bit more to Delaney Walker because once they got oh. that matchup in the secondary, because it was either DeQuell or all of a sudden DB has to come back and, and, and try to – and Delaney is not the typical tight end. With, right. It's not the 6'5", 250. I mean, he's a little shorter, mm -hmm. uh, six foot, 250 pounds or so. But he plays bigger. He but plays he, bigger he than, does play than, than great his hands. Size. Great hands. He catches everything. I, I actually remember when he was a free agent and he went from San Francisco to Tennessee, I was like, what are the 49ers doing? This guy is a right. player. And he turned. He, he's a player for the Tennessee Titans. He's their number one target, I believe, 
offensively throwing the football. You got guys like Kendall Wright, who's, who's a stud, don't get me wrong. But I think when they need a play to be made, they go to Delaney Walker. And you're right, he found holes in the middle. He was able to push up and, and beat whatever man was playing him yesterday. But you did see the Colts go a lot of dime nickel with Clayton Gathers mm -hmm. uh, and Josh Thomas. And um, it was interesting, the game plan. But they, I think the reason – the Tennessee Titans numbers were so inflated and they did such a great job on offense is because their offense was on the field all dang right. day. Right. I mean, the time of possession was ridiculous. Right. And when you put a defense on the field for that long, um, obviously the players are going to rack up, the yardage are going to rack up, and your defense is going to get tired. Sooner or later, the running game is going to start to work. I didn't think they could run the ball early in the game, but once they were on the field so much, they started to be able to run the football. Mm -hmm. um, but once the Colts and the 12 and a half once minute mark in the fourth the quarter, once they sustained that that 98 yard yep. drive or yep. whatever it was, took six, seven minutes off the clock, the defense came back on the field fresh as ever and ready to roll.